Hi guys, from April's BBC Good Food, I made this one pan Easter lamb and it was so easy. It did take a while in the oven like all roasts do. You can never roast up a roast dinner in 10 minutes, but the prep before the oven really took no time at all. While lamb is traditional to have at Easter, the lamb actually becomes more flavoursome as it ages. So ask your butcher for hoggett or mutton throughout the year. This lamb was so tasty and perfectly cooked and the entire dinner was done in this one tray. Start off by finely grating the zest of one lemon and add it to a bowl. Next, take two sprigs of rosemary and pull the leaves off. Now take three sprigs of oregano and do the same. Now, finely chop them by running over them back and forth with a sharp knife, weighing down the tip of the knife with your palm. Then add them to the bowl with the lemon zest along with about 50 milliliters of olive oil. Mix it up well with a fork and then set it aside. Now take a leg of lamb. This is a 1.6 kilogram bone in leg and make little incisions all over it with a sharp knife. Now pour over the herby lemony oil and massage it in, making sure you get it into all the nooks and crannies and all the little cuts. Then set it aside and wash your hands. Now you'll need to take a large roasting tray and add a bulb of garlic to it. Break it into its cloves first though and crush each clove with the side of your knife and the heel of your pan. Once they're all crushed and added, then take one fresh red chilli and pierce it a few times all over to let the flavour out. A smaller knife would be better for this and you look less crazy. Then add that to the tray with the garlic. Next, take three fennel bulbs, remove the green fronds and save them to sprinkle over later and cut them into quarters. Add them to the tray, then take about a kilogram of potatoes with the skins on, just wash them really well and cut them into wedges and add them to the tray as well. Now add another two sprigs of rosemary to the tray and drizzle over with some olive oil, about two tablespoons and then mix it all up to make sure that all the vegetables are coated in olive oil. Here I added a good fat pinch of sea salt flakes and then sat the lamb on top of the potatoes and fennel and drizzled over all that herby olive oil. I then seasoned the lamb generously on both sides with about a tablespoon of sea salt flakes before transferring it to a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius. After 45 minutes of roasting, I added 250 milliliters of white wine and then 250 milliliters of good chicken stock. Then return to the oven for 30 minutes if you'd like it rare, 35 to 40 minutes for a medium rare, or 45 minutes for well done. Ovens do vary though, so instead of timing it, you should get yourself a meat thermometer. Use cooking times as a guideline, but check the internal temperature too. For rare, lamb should be 55 degrees Celsius, medium rare should be 60 degrees, and well done should be 70. I prefer it underdone, but I was cooking for people who like it medium rare, so I thought 58 degrees was a fair compromise. So now take out the lamb and let it rest for half an hour and cover the vegetables with tin foil, close up the oven and reduce the heat to 160 degrees Celsius. Half an hour later, take out the veg, remove the tin foil, sprinkle over the green fronds from earlier and sit the lamb leg on top of the potatoes and fennel. Then just start carving. The deeper in you go, the more rare and succulent the meat will be and the veg below will be lovely and basted in lamb fat and juices. So that's it. This recipe really did take no time to prepare. If you did like it, I hope you'll hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You can check me out on social media if you like. You'll find all the links to my accounts in the description below as well as the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org